Hello everyone, this is Skyler. I'm here to do how I make icons for Twilight Princess. So what I do is I take the, a model of whatever I'm replacing, so like the Master Sword, I take its icon, I scale the sword that I'm replacing it with be about the same size as the icon, and I render it, and I always render the image exactly 10 times bigger than the original icon. The original icon here is 48 by 48, so I will render it to um, 480 by 480. This way I could use exact pixel measurements to get the icons right every time. So um, right now I'm just uh, trying to make sure that it's all in the right position. So after I have that rendered, I'll open Photoshop. I'll open that render. And I'll take the original icon and I'll scale it to be the, about the same size as the new one. Now to make it easier to copy over, I'm going to add a white background. It's automatically in the right position. When I bring it over, copy that to the new icon here. Bring that below it. I will move this around just a little bit to line up about where I want it. Next, I will select the outside in the layer of my new icon here. Select, inverse, and select, modify, command. Now, because I used uh, a, my uh, theory of 10 times bigger than the original icon, I could use th these exact measurements every time. So the first time, you'll expand fif uh, 15 pixels. Then, you can color pick this edge from the outside of the original icon. A layer below the new one. And then paste, or not paste, um, paint. Then, you would do it again. You select the outside of this one. Select inverse. Select modify band. Now, when you do this one, you want to do 10 pixels. Which did the first time, but with the gray outline here. It's a little bit hard to get the, the right color, but you'll, you'll get it. If you scale it down, it's not going to matter too much anyway. Now see if I didn't position it very well, but if you did, then you'd have an icon about like this. To avoid having cutoffs like this, just scale it down a little bit. Actually, I think I got just barely to the edges. I'm going to go image. Oh, wait, actually, I want to merge these first, merge visible. Now, image, size, now scale that down by 10. 48 by 48. Now, if you're using Photoshop, you got different options here, like by cubic sharper, by linear. I like to use by cubic sharper to reduce because it, it, it makes the colors look a little bit more vibrant. Okay, now look at that. Give you a better view here. Wait, there, that's the original icon. Look at that. All right, I uh, hope that was able to help.